Gentleman from Culver. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I have a question for the floor leader, please. Floor leader. It's my understanding that this well thought out amendment is nothing more than providing to the parents the opportunity to look at the curriculum that their children, their children are being taught. What's the problem with the amendment? The committee has not heard testimony on this. We have not discussed this and we just received it. So you need testimony to give parents the right to determine will, what is appropriate will hear for their bill, children? We will hear several bills. Thank you, I appreciate it. We will it. hear several bills in the committee overviewing parents' rights. Thank you, on the amendment, Madam Speaker. There is on, no, on the amendment. On the you. amendment. There is no more important issue in the United States of America today than what's being taught to our children in public schools. And this state is no exception. In Calvert County, for example, we have parents who are organizing and have been organizing for well over a year and a half ever since COVID started, and they finally found out for the first time what their children were being taught in public schools. And yet, the Democrat Party doesn't want to pass an amendment to a bill to allow parents to know what their children are being taught. That's shameful, absolutely shameful. Here's a slide that I, that I received from parents in Calvert County, mothers, by the way, mothers. Human sexuality, the sexual tree in Calvert County. There are three levels of sexuality, and there are 45 plus different elements. And they have a picture of the tree, and one of the elements is abortion. It's the first one. It's the first one. Do you think? Sorry, this is a, a visual aid. Hope it doesn't trigger anyone. Do you think? Do you think that if parents saw this, that maybe some in Calvert County might want to not have their children receive this material and take this particular part of the course? Yeah, it's more than some, it's a lot. Literally thousands of emails from people in my county complaining, thousands. And yet the Democrat party, which I do not understand, has decided for whatever reason that it is wrong for parents to be able to see what their children are being taught online. That curriculum can't be published. That somehow you, the Democrat party, take precedence over parents, you do not. Parents are first, always. So Madam Speaker, for all those reasons, I rise to support this very common sense amendment that for the first time in Maryland puts parents back in charge and lets them know what the curriculum is that their children are learning. Thank you.